Queen Elizabeth heartbreak, Prince Philip's death could reportedly affect stability of the throne. Prince Philip's death will not only affect Queen Elizabeth but the entire monarchy as well. According to Royal Central, Queen Victoria suffered tremendously following the death of Prince Albert in 1861. The late Queen reportedly only wore black clothing, and she also stayed in seclusion with only very few public appearances. Prince Albert's private rooms were maintained as he would have liked when he was alive with hot water brought in every morning as formerly done for his morning shave. It wasn't until a year had passed did Queen Victoria's subjects begin to see this morning as obsessive and the uneasiness about the Queen's state of mind became apparent, the publication claimed. Queen Victoria's struggles following her husband's death also became a catalyst for rising Republican resentment. The late Queen only opened the Parliament again in 1866, and she was also reluctant to do so. While she was in seclusion from her family and the rest of the world, Queen Victoria only had contact with her household servant, John Brown. According to Express, just like Queen Victoria, Her Majesty is also regarded as the backbone of the royal family. And the fact that she has been married to Prince Philip for over seven decades suggests that losing her husband will also be very difficult for her. Prince Philip was there during the Queen's Annus Horribilis in 1992. He was also by his wife's side when Prince Charles and Princess Diana divorced and when the latter passed away following a car crash. In 2007, royal expert Penny Jr. said that when things become difficult, this is when the public needs to feel and see the monarchy more. The times when monarchy has been most endangered have been when the monarch has sunk below the parapet. When Queen Victoria went into mourning and wasn't seen, the monarchy went into a really really rough patch, when Diana died and the Queen, and the rest of the royal family, were invisible up in Balmoral, again, real problems, the monarchy must be visible, she said. As such, the Queen might be forced to step up even without Prince Philip around. Prince Philip allegedly still sick that adds stress to Queen Elizabeth's alleged second Annus Horribilis. Prince Philip's poor health shocked the royal world last year. Allegedly, the Duke of Edinburgh is still sick, and it adds stress to the already problematic Queen Elizabeth II. Her Majesty is reportedly having her second Annus Horribilis with everything the monarchy is going through from Prince Andrew's scandal to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's exit to her husband's condition. In New Ideas Royals podcast, royal expert Angela Mollard revealed this year has been very stressful for the Queen. She is about to turn 94 years old and she still has to deal with the Megxit, a couple of royal divorces, and an ailing spouse. According to Express, Mahler earlier said that Prince Philip's health would be one of Queen Elizabeth's main challenges this 2020. On the podcast, she claimed that everything that is happening could be considered the Annus Horribilis Part 2. The year 1992 was the last time that Queen Elizabeth claimed to be her worst year with three divorces of her children the Windsor Castle fire, and many other things that happened at the time. Now, she has to deal with Prince Andrew's involvement with Jeffrey Epstein's case, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's exit, Prince Philip's poor health, and Princess Beatrice's wedding. Although the latter event should be a happy occasion, there are still a lot of speculations surrounding it, like who is going to pay for the affair. Aside from her father's scandal, Mollard explained that Princess Beatrice could be embroiled in another controversy because the taxpayers' money would fund some parts of her wedding. There will surely be a lot of questions around the matter that will depend on the development of Prince Andrew's issues. Evidently, Queen Elizabeth has a lot on her plate this year. So, it may be the reason why she is giving some of her jobs away to other members of the royal family, like Prince Charles, Prince William, and Kate Middleton. Mollard also suggested that Prince Philip would never be around his wife's entire reign. Although Prince Philip is no longer in the hospital anymore, Closer Weekly reported that he is still fighting to get back his good health. He is alleged very sick, and things even got worse at the end of 2019. Prince Philip allegedly prefers to stay in the countryside to London. Even though he is on bed rest, he still feels at home being in Sandringham. To recall, On December 20, 2019, 
he was admitted to King Edward VII Hospital for observation and treatment due to his pre-existing condition. However, he was sent home after four days to spend Christmas with his family. Queen Elizabeth Heartbreak Recent royal controversies reportedly take its toll on Her Majesty's health. There is no denying that Queen Elizabeth is the most effective member of the royal family whenever they face major issues and controversies. The mother of Prince Charles has, reportedly, been putting a brave face amidst the ongoing humiliations surrounding Prince Andrew's alleged involvement to Jeffrey Epstein's scandal, including Prince William and Prince Harry's rumored spat and the drama caused by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's shocking royal exit. Add to that the most recent divorces of David Lindley, Earl of Snowdon, and his wife, Serena, Countess of Snowdon, and Peter Phillips and Autumn Kelly. Recent reports suggested that the recent troubles hounding the royal family has already taken its toll on Queen Elizabeth's well-being. Royal expert Katie Nicol even told Best magazine that this is the most disrupted period in Her Majesty's reign since Princess Diana's death in 1998. But, at the age of 93, with a disruptive family, surely the strain must be beginning to tell? Katie told the entertainment news publication. Last month, the Queen cancelled an engagement at Sandringham as she had a cold, and that is almost unheard of. I think it is an indication that she is feeling and I suppose showing, her age, she went on. Besides her own health, Queen Elizabeth is, reportedly, concerned over the condition of her husband, Prince Philip. It can be recalled that the Duke of Edinburgh spent four nights in King Edward VII's hospital in London before Christmas Day 2019. The grandfather of Prince William and Prince Harry was, also, involved in a car crash while driving near the Queen's Sandringham estate early last year. Until recently Philip has been very active, carriage riding, fishing at Balmoral and driving around royal estates, although he no longer drives on public roads following his crash, a royal source claimed. His mind is as sharp as ever. However, the sad reality is that the Queen is more isolated. They are both making an extraordinary personal sacrifice for the country, it continued. Meanwhile, Queen Elizabeth is showing no signs of slowing down even with her advanced age. Though there have been reports saying that Her Majesty might retire and give up the throne very soon, a royal expert believes that it is very unlikely to happen even with all the quandaries the royal family has been dealing with lately. Angela Mollard suggested, on the Royals podcast, that Prince Charles needs to wait a little longer because Queen Elizabeth will never step down as long as she lives. Instead, Mollard said Her Majesty will just pass work on to other members of the clan, per express.co.uk. Queen Elizabeth has yet to comment on these reports. Hence, avid followers of the royal family should take these unverified claims with a huge grain of salt until everything is proven true and correct.